Hello everyone, my name is Atish and here I am with a new learning video on rules for finding particular integral, namely rule 2. In this learning video, firstly we will recollect the definition of particular integral that has been already discussed in the very last learning video. And then we will see working of rule 2 along with the case of failure followed by three different kinds of example. So let us see the particular integral. For the differential equation of the form f of d into y is equal to x, then 1 upon f of d into x is called as particular integral and we write it as pi is equal to 1 upon f of d into x. Now depending on the nature of this function of x, I am talking about this capital X, we have different rules for finding particular integral. Now, if this x, if this x is equal to sin ax or cos ax, rule number 2 is applicable, where what is a coefficient of x and it is a constant. Okay, so pi is equal to 1 upon f of d into cos ax or sin ax. Now, rule number 2 is interested in d square. So whenever you have d square in the denominator, you just substitute d square is equal to minus of a whole square. Okay. And the other terms like d or constant will remain as it is. Okay. So what we have to put d square equal to minus of a whole square. One remark I would like to make here is that student get confused and they write d square is equal to minus of a whole square that should be plus a square okay that is not the case here so d square is equal to minus of in bracket a whole square okay so when you substitute this we get this okay now there arise two different condition on this denominator the quantity in the denominator may be zero may not be zero if it is not equal to zero not equal to 0 then we are through and this would be our particular integral. Now this may not be the case always isn't it? So if this quantity in the denominator is equal to 0 then we arrive as a at a case of failure. So what is case of failure? If phi of minus of a whole square equal to 0 then the case fails and the case of failure says multiply numerator by x, differentiate denominator with respect to d into function as it is. One more remark I would like to make here is that the case of failure is same for each and every rule. Okay, so whenever case fails, you have to always write multiply numerator by x, differentiate denominator with respect to d into function as it is. Now, if you look at this quantity, 1 upon phi dash of d square cos ax or sin ax, then this is again an example of rule number 2. So again substitute d square equal to minus of a whole square. So what we get? This. Again, depending on this uh, quantity in the denominator, if it is non-zero, we are through. And if it is equal to 0, then again we have to apply the case of failure and so on. Now to understand this concept, let us take an example. Okay, so this is the very first example which says solve d square plus 4 operating on y is equal to sine 2x. So as this is a quotient of solve, so you have to find out cf as well as pi. Why pi? Because we have something in the right hand side okay so this complementary functions you have to write on your own okay the learning video is already available in this channel okay now let us see how to find out pi 1 upon d square plus 4 into sine 2x so what rule number 2 says rule number 2 says put d square equal to minus of 2 whole square. So what we have to substitute? Minus 4. 
Okay. So the moment we substitute d square equal to minus 4, what we get? This pi is equal to 1 upon minus 4 plus 4 into sine 2x. So as you can see in the denominator, we get 0. So here the case fails. So what you have to do? Multiply, apply the case of failure. And what is case of failure? Multiply numerator by x. Differentiate denominator with respect to d into function as it is. Now, here we have d square plus 4 in the denominator. So, taking differentiation of this with respect to d, what we get? Derivative of d square is 2d plus derivative of constant 0. So, we get this. Okay. Now, as you all know, d stands for derivative with respect to x. So, certainly 1 by d will stands for integration with respect to x. Okay. So, x by 2, 1 by d is replaced by integration with respect to x function as it is. Now, as you all know, integration of sin x is minus cos x. Okay. So, pi is x by 2. Integration of cos x is minus cos, sorry, integration of sin x is minus cos 2x by 2. Okay. So, once you get pi, try to write down the complete solution. So, what is your complete solution? y is equal to cf plus pi. Okay. We have cf, we have pi. So, write down cf plus pi. And don't forget to write where c1 and c2 are arbitrary constants. Okay. Now let us take another variety of example. So the question is solve d square minus 2d plus 5 operating on y equal to 10 sin x. Again as I said, you are smart enough now to write down complementary function. And if you have any doubt, just see the previous learning video on rules for finding complementary function. Okay. So let us see pi. What is pi? pi is 1 upon d square minus 2d plus 5 into 10 sin x. So what rule number 2 says? Put d square equal to minus of a whole square. What is a? a is coefficient of x and here the coefficient is 1. So substitute d square equal to minus 1. We get 1 upon minus 2d 1 upon minus 1 minus 2d plus 5 into 10 sin x. Okay. So we get 1 upon 4 minus 2d into 10 sin x. Now in the earlier example we had only 2d. That's why I have written 1 by 2 outside and replacing 1 by d by integration. But this is not the case here. Okay. So if such is the case here we have to multiply by its conjugate. So what is conjugate of 4 minus 2d? 4 plus 2d. So multiplying and divided by 4 plus 2d. Okay. So in the numerator we get 4 plus 2d. In the denominator we are applying a minus b, a plus b which is a square minus b square. So we get 16 minus 4d square into 10 sin x as it is. Now again, this is an example of rule 2. Why? Because we have d square in the denominator. Is it? So put d square equal to minus 1 again. Actually, it is d square equal to minus of 1 whole square. That is minus 1. Okay. So when you substitute it, you will get this. Now the next step will be pi is equal to 4 plus 2d 16. This minus into minus plus. So 16 plus 4, 20. And rest of the thing as it is. Okay. So 10 ones are 10 twos are 20 get cancelled. So in the denominator we have 2. And now multiply 4 plus 2d into sin x. So what is it? 4 into sin x plus 2 times d of sin x. Okay. Now what is d of sin x? Yes. Derivative of sin x is cos x. Rest of the thing is as it is. Now, as you can see, there is 2 in the numerator common and there is 2 in the denominator. So, 2 get cancelled and we remain with pi is equal to 2 sin x plus cos x. So, we have cf, we have pi. So, let us write down the 
complete solution. So what is your complete solution? Y is equal to CF plus PI. Okay. And don't forget to write where C1 and C2 are arbitrary constant. Okay. Now one more example. This is one of a kind. Okay. And the problem is find particular integral of d square minus 4 operating on y is equal to cos square x. One remark I would like to make here is that it is cos square x not cos 2x. But still in the examination or in the test in the, in the college. Okay. Students used to write cos square x is cos 2x. That is not the case. Okay. It is cos square x only. So what is pi? 1 upon d square minus 4 into cos square x. Now as this learning video is on rule 2. So what we should have on the right hand side? Cos ax. Okay. Or sin ax. So we'll make use of formula for cos square x. And writing cos square x 1 plus cos 2x by 2. Okay. Now separating this. What we get? 1 by 2, 1 upon d square minus 1, 1 plus cos 2x. Okay. Now, multiplying and separating all this, rearranging of the terms, 1 by 2 into 1 upon d square minus 4 into e to the power 0 x. Okay. Plus 1 by 2 into 1 upon d square minus 4 cos 2x. I am writing 1 as e to the power 0 x. Now, Calling this PI as PI1 plus PI2 where what is PI1? PI1 is this and PI2 is this. Okay. So what is PI1? 1 by 2 d square minus 4 e to the power 0x. Are you remembering something? We have now e to the power 0x on the right hand side. So which rule will be applicable? Yes, rule number 1 would be will be applicable. So what rule number 1 says? Put d is equal to coefficient of x. What is coefficient of x? 0. So put d is equal to 0. What we get? 1 by 2 into 1 upon 0 square minus 4 into e to the power 0 x. e to the power 0 is 1 minus 4 into 2 minus 8. So pi1 is pi1 is minus 1 by 8. Okay. Now, let us see what is PI2? PI2 is this 1 by 2 d square minus 4 into cos 2x. Okay. So, what rule number 2 says? Put d square equal to minus of a whole square. What is the value of a? 2. So, put d square is equal to minus of 2 whole square. That is minus 4. We get this. Minus 4 minus 4 minus 8. 8 to the 16. So, we get this pi 2 okay now we have pi 1 we have pi 2 so put in equation number a this equation okay so substitute in equation number a so after putting in equation a we get this now taking 1 by minus 1 by 16 common so we remain with pi is equal to minus 1 by 16 into 2 plus cos 2x this is the required particular integral. Okay. Thank you for watching this learning video. Keep supporting. Keep loving. Thank you so much. Thank you.